What is good, everybody? Boy J in the building. We is back again with another one. Before we get this video started, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys share this video. Oh my god. Oh my god, man. Fam, you what are you doing? What are you doing? All right, so for the second time, maybe even third time this calendar year, fam, you is circulating around the world for the wrong reasons. For the wrong reasons. If y'all know graduation pictures, the chick with the Medusa hair that was graduating with her master's, I believe. I don't, I, she, she was graduating. In front of the, you know, snake with the snake looking hair with the Medusa looking hair, butt ass naked, you know what I'm saying? Crazy. And now we got a local rapper. We got a local rapper in the family locker room shooting a music video. And them shooting a music video in the locker room to me wasn't the part. They got everybody, everybody going crazy. It's the content in which the dude was speaking of while wearing fam you gear while being in a football locker room. Like I think it's the content in the music video that got everybody all riled up. Like if y'all like if y'all went back and y'all listened to the video, like if y'all listened to to the music and what he was saying. You can kind of understand why everybody is all up in arms about about it. You know what I'm saying? So, for one, we don't know who did it or who who had the keys to open up the door. Because it's been probably two days, two or three days, and nobody still said nothing. Fam, y'all, yo, because the investigation is only happening because they're trying to find out who did it. The, the the investigation is trying to find out who did it. Y'all, just come out. Y'all, somebody could just come out and say, yo, I, it was me. I let the person do it. Because, listen, talk about bad timing with the football season being a month away. Like, Fam U's first game of the season is, is probably a month in a week, a month in a few days. And so they're not allowed to do anything for, like, they're not allowed to, to work out in the weight room, not allowed to do any workouts on the field. They're not even allowed to practice. So we're going to read Coach Willie's statements first, and then we're going to read what the president had to say about this. So Coach Willie put out earlier today, it was brought to my attention that a rap video was shot at a prominent rap by a prominent rapper in the football locker room of Gallimore Prior Field House without proper authorization. The video contained graphic language that is not consistent with Florida AM's core values, principles, and beliefs, and an internal investigation is underway to determine who authorized the use of not only the athletic facility at Gallimore Prior, but also licensed apparel that potentially violates universities university branding and licensing agreements. Although I am a proud proponent of free speech and support all forms of musical expressions, this football team as ambassadors of Florida and m University has, an, has a responsibility to protect the university's image. As a result of this unfortunate situation, as head football coach, I am effectively suspending all football related activities until further notice. It is a privilege to wear the orange and green. All right, we, we, we get it. So now we're going to listen to what President Larry Robinson had to say. I am aware of the unauthorized music video shot on our campus, and I am asking for an immediate investigation to determine how it happened. This video does not represent our core values nor our commitment to excellence with Karen in all aspects to the of the university, including athletics. That was today. 
But you know what? Yeah, you know what's crazy is that yeah, like damn near every media coverage is covering this, and I ain't gonna lie, man. Like this could all, this could all, like this could all be over if the person who let the dude come in and do the video could just come out and say something, cause that's all the investigation really is. Like I said, but yeah, man, this is a. This is not a good look for family at all, man. Like, for the second time this calendar year, they are in the news for the wrong reasons. It ain't fo- it ain't football related. It ain't it ain't education related. Like, it's nothing good about that that has been coming out about FAMU this year. Nationally, you know what I'm saying? Because you know, a few of us will cover FAMU for football, you know, for sports or whatever, but. Yeah, man, this ain't so. I know that fam, you is gonna get through this. Like, we know like all the players are not at fault here, but dog, this could have been at any university, and at listen at any PWI, at any HBCU, and this would be treated the same way. Like, like, like to be fair about this, if this was shot at any other school, they would get the same treatment. Like, everybody would be getting the same treatment. But if it was out of PWI, I probably wouldn't say nothing about it because I know every media coverage is going to cover it. But because it's out of HBCU, it's like, damn, dog. Like, and because this is fam you, because this is not the first time that they've been in the news for something crazy that somebody else did. It's like, Fam, like, fam, you just keep finding themselves in these situations, man. And it's not even the people who go to the school, man, it's not it's not all their fault. But the, fo- it, it, the football team suffers because of this because they can't do anything football-related in the school until the investigation is over with. So I hope the investigation ain't long. I Listen, I just hope. The person just come out and say, "Listen, I'm the person that ha- that had the keys to open it." Because listen, this video was shot and edited, so that means the video was done probably a week or two ago. Probably, probably yeah, within a week or two ago, the video was done. The video just so happened uh, to come out this week, but. They were probably there for a few days, maybe a day, a few hours, maybe. But yeah, this ain't a good look, man. So hopefully, this will all blow. Listen, this story is gonna blow over in a week. This is this is all gonna blow over in a week. But for the people who are in the HBCU circles, who's in the SWAC circles, this is probably gonna spill over the entire season. <laughs> Cause SWAC fans are petty. <laughs> Yo, if that's one thing I say, dog, SWAC fans are petty. So, fam, you is going to have to live with this throughout the entire year from SWAC fans. But in terms of nationally, this, this is going to blow over in a week. Maybe a few days. Matter of fact, people probably won't even cover this within four or five days. But I'm giving it a week for everything to die down in terms of nationally. But in terms of the swag, nah, people are going to have fun with this. The people, yo, everybody else in the swag, HBCU football, they're going to have fun with this. So, fam, you, y'all just going to have to hold the L, dog. But I know, listen, they're going to bounce back from this. They're still going to have a good season, you know, overall. I don't think this is going to bother them that much on the field. But, yeah, man, dog, this is like kind of crazy man y'all can't <sighs> it's insane